Hey gang, so welcome to a bald eagle fishing adventure. And I'm not fishing today. Today I'm cooking in our kitchen. And today I am cooking up my favorite, not clam chowder, but crab chowder. Oh, this is gonna be so, so good. Anyways, so let's just dive right into this, okay? So I'm gonna have the camera come on over here, my lovely wife behind the camera. And what I've already done is I've cooked up some bacon and what you see down here in the bottom is just some bits, the yum yums. And we want that to stay there. You do drain out all the grease like I already did, but leave those little yum yums there and I'm gonna show you that's gonna get incorporated with all the vegetables and all that good stuff, okay? So let's get started. And one of the things, if you guys do want the recipe to this, send me an email. You can send it through YouTube and we'll give we'll send you the uh, the recipe for this or my lovely wife will send you the recipe on this anyways so let's get some heat going so we'll get this up to uh, about medium heat medium high actually medium high and uh, I'm going to add so what I have here is about a cup of bacon bits uh, nicely all chopped up and everything I'm going to add that right back in here okay I mean, you're already starting off with bacon. It just can't get much a whole lot better than that. So we get rolling with that. And uh, we'll let this kind of uh, incorporate a little bit with some heat here. Kind of let that start solidifying down. So. Are we on? Yeah, we're on. Okay. Nothing ever goes fast enough for me. <laughs> All right. So we'll get this, get this here happening. Okay. So now, the next thing we're going to do, uh, let me browse over my list here. Yep. So, wanted to make sure. So what I have in this container is three quarters of a cup of onion, yellow onion, uh, three quarters cup of red bell pepper. You can use yellow bell pepper, green bell pepper, that's your choice. I like the red, it, it seems to be a little sweeter uh, as far as I'm concerned. And then three quarters cup on the um, carrots. So, and then I think there's also three quarters cup of celery in here, am I correct? See, yes. my, my lovely wife did all the nice chopping for me. She did all the hard work for me. I'm a lucky man. Okay, so this is all gonna go right in here with this bacon. Oh, there's the happiness happening. The sizzle, sizzle, dizzle. All right, beautiful. Get that there. Now, all that bacon in there with those bacon bits and a little bit of the residue of the uh, bacon grease. We just kind of get this all stirred up, incorporating. We're just going to let this kind of cook down and soften a little bit. Oh yeah. Just like so. Alright, so this is going to take about 10-15 minutes for these to all do their happy dance in here. Uh, I will bring you back uh, as soon as uh, this is ready to go to the next step. See you in a minute. Alright guys, so uh, this has been going for about 10 minutes or so, and uh, this is all nice and tender in there. I mean, that's just beautiful as it is right there. So, uh, and oh, just so you know, this will make, um, if I hadn't mentioned it, this will make somewhere between six to eight servings, uh, depending on your serving size. Me, this probably one serving. No, just kidding. Uh, anyways, so now we're gonna put uh, about four and a quarter to four and a half cups of uh, uh, Idaho potatoes, right? Russets. Russets. That would be the same thing. Yeah. I'm just kidding. Russets. You want to use russets because they have a little more starch to them, and that's going to help the thickening process. So four and a, four and a quarter to four and a half cups. In you go. There we go. That's it. Add in there. And then, and then, we're going to put in two bottles of clam juice. Uh, each of these are eight ounces. So a total of 16 ounces of clam juice. I like this clam juice, uh, Bar Harbor. I've tried a few others and 
some of them just don't taste very good. This one seems to taste the best for, for what I do and for what I like. So anyways, just letting you know. Anyways, just dump that right on in. Second one. Ah, oh, there we go. Okay. And we're still over medium high heat. And then the next liquid that's going to go in is a half cup of white wine, Sauvignon Blanc, Chardonnay, any of that will work just fine, and a half cup of water. Okay? So put that right on in. All right. And now. We'll give this a little stir. Oh yeah. And everything to incorporate here. <laughs> it's already smelling incredible. Okay, now, so get the treat. Don't want to leave anybody behind. I'm gonna get all that right down there in the happy zone. There we go. Everybody gets the happy. Okay, now, now we're going to start with some seasoning. So, what I have here is some ground thyme, and you're going to want uh, about a teaspoon of that. There we go. And then we're going to want a tablespoon of parsley flakes. You can use dried, fresh, whatever you like. Um, if I had some fresh, I would be using that, but the dried works just as, as well as from what I'm, I've, I've come across. So there we go. Get that on there. All right. And we're going to throw in just a touch, about an eighth teaspoon of cayenne pepper, uh, just a little, a little, a little, a little, a little heat, and that's it, done. Okay, and I mean a little bit goes a long ways. And then, the garlic salt and black pepper, it's about a teaspoon, um, you know, it's really gonna be seasoned to taste. So what I kinda start out with, a, you know, a couple good shakes, close to about a teaspoon of that, and then uh, same thing with the black pepper, and then I'll add a little bit more if I need to, which I more likely will at the end. You can always add, but it's real hard to take away, so uh, just be always aware of that. That's it. Now we're going to give this whole thing a stir so it gets all happy. Nobody's left out. What are you laughing at, woman? Are you laughing at me? Huh? You're always laughing at me. Yeah. Yeah, huh? I know you. 30 some odd years, I know you. See? Huh? See? Okay. Trouble. No. All right. Now, I believe I've got everything that needs to be in there. So let's just go through the list here real quick. Da, 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 da. Mm -hmm. That's it. Okay. So this thing gets covered. And it's going to simmer now. For about a half hour, 45 minutes, what I want is those potatoes to get really super tender. To kind of start like just kind of dissolving and breaking down. Because that's what's going to thicken our stuff up. And this is going to get so yummy. I'll bring you back when this is getting to the point for the crab. See you guys in a little bit. Alright guys, well it's been about 45 minutes. This has been simmering. And uh, let's take a look. Oh, look at that. It's all nice and kind of getting thick and happy. Potatoes are nice and soft. Everything is beautiful. And the smell. <gasps> wow. Okay, so the next two things now. We're going to put in a pint of heavy cream. Pour that right on in. Beautiful. There we go. And this is another one, seasoned to taste. Find about a tablespoon of lemon, fresh squeezed lemon juice is about perfect. Put that there. If it needs a little bit more uh, as we kind of fine tune the taste, we will do so. Now we'll give this a, just a little stir.
Okay, now we're going to just let this kind of keep simmering for about another 5-10 more minutes and I'll bring you back when uh, we're about ready to add the crab meat. All right guys, well, we're at the final now. This is uh, pretty much done. I'm gonna have my wife come over with the camera. Um, I had to thicken this up a little bit because um, I like a really nice thick chowder. So this has just got a, just a really nice, it coats the spoon beautifully. This is the consistency that I like. You can have it a little less, a little more. That is really, you know, something that you can decide. For me to thicken it up a little bit more, I just add a little bit of this Wondra to it, and uh, you know I, I did it a couple of times, bring it to a full boil each time, and then calm it back down, keep stirring until you get the consistency that you're looking for. But I like the Wondra, it works really great for thickening any of this up. And like I said, you just add a little bit each time until you get your uh, until you get the consistency that you're looking for. Um, so we're getting ready to add the crab meat. Um, also, before I add the Wondra while it's still on a little bit of the liquidy side, it needed a little bit more garlic salt. So that's a great time to do your pre-test uh, tasting to see if uh, it needs a little something, something, and it needed a little bit more garlic salt, just a little, just a couple little dashes, and that was it, like I said, seasoned to taste. Um, and then once you get done adding the Wondra, and it's kind of calmed back down, and it's got the thickness that you're looking for, give it another re-taste, to see if it needs just a little more salt and pepper. Uh, and then you're pretty much done. Then you're about ready for the crab. So I'm all finished here. This is seasoned to the way we like it. Uh, now I'm getting ready to add the crab. And what I have here is a pound of shredded up uh, crab meat, beautifully, all just gorgeous. And uh, I broke down, you could leave the legs and stuff a little thicker if you like. I like mine a little bit more broken up. So one thing I wanted to give, show you guys here, this is a, just a little tidbit trick for some of you that don't know. So all of us have experienced this when you're you know, catching crab and you're cooking crab and you're picking crab. Occasionally a piece of shell is gonna fall in. It's just, it happens to all of us. And you know, the worst thing in the world is you're having a party or something and you're serving up a crab dish of some sort and somebody bites into a shell, it sucks. And I'm usually the one that bites into the shell, which thank God. Um, but nonetheless, there's a great easy trick to find that little shell before anybody else does. Get yourself a black light and uh, I'll turn this on here. So there you can see the, the black light and this, uh, I'll have a link to this. We found this on Amazon, great, strong black light. And you just put it into the crab meat and you take a fork and just kind of, you know, fluff it around while you're looking with the light. And if there is a piece of shell in there, it is gonna be lit up like a Christmas tree. It works phenomenal. So just a little tidbit if you didn't know, makes life nice and you get that little piece of crab, uh, uh, crab shell out of there before you crunch down on it. So anyways, we're adding the crab in. Oh, yeah. Beautiful. Yum. Yum, yum, and yum. Mm. All the little bits. No crab left behind. All right. Set that over there. Now we'll stir this up. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Oh, I have some French bread. I'm going to make my own homemade garlic toast and uh, a little bit of white wine to go with this for dinner tonight. And man, oh man, I, I am salivating as I'm talking right now. I cannot wait. It's going to be so, so good. There we go. And that's it. I'll reheat that just before we're ready to eat tonight, but that is done. And that is our crab chowder. Hey guys, as always, it's a pleasure having you with us. 
Um, if you found this entertaining and you found some good information and, uh, you know, uh, my wife and I, we appreciate all the support you give us. We would love for you to subscribe and hit that like button. Um, but uh, thanks again for everything. Thanks for watching. And uh, we'll see you on the next Bald Eagle Fishing Adventure. See you, gang.